Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to translate word statements into math statements. But before we get started, we need to get out our student volunteer. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. Translating word statements to math. So all we're going to do is read and translate. Remember, math is just another language. Here we go. The sum of 3 and 8. Now, how do we write this in math? Sum means addition. So we begin by defining our operation, the sum. That's what that symbol means, right? The sum. And what are the two things that we're summing, Charlie? Three and eight. That's right, three and eight. There we go. Let's do another one here. The sum of seven and 12. So watch, Charlie, the sum. Now what two things are we summing? Seven and 12. There we go. Now we're not interested in the result yet. Although seven plus 12 is 19. We're trying to learn how to take a word statement and translate it into a math statement. This is an important skill that you need to develop because eventually we're going to do word problems. And word problems is exactly doing this, except you take these word statements and you've got to translate it into a mathematical equation and solve it. So this is the beginning of that. So pay attention, especially you. What? All right, Charlie, now the difference of 7 and 12. The difference means subtraction. The difference. And what two things are we taking the difference of? 7 and 12. Now, how about the difference of x and y? Well, the difference means subtraction. And what two things are we taking the difference of? x and y. That's important when you get to word problems. Now, how about the difference of n and 4? Well, the difference of n and 4, difference means subtraction, n and 4. There it is. Okay, let's do another one here. The sum of 5 and 3 is 8. I mean, that's true, but how do you write that word statement into a math statement? Well, the sum, there's our addition symbol. And what two things are we taking the sum of 5 and 3? Now, is translates to equals in the language of math. So is is equal and 8 is 8. And it is true that 5 plus 3 is 8, or the sum of 5 and 3 is 8. Here we have the difference of 2 and 7 is negative 5, and that is true. Let's write it out as a math statement. The difference is subtraction. And what two things are we taking the difference of 2 and 7? Is translates to equal, and negative 5 translates to that symbol negative 5, right? And that is a true statement there. Now here we have the sum of 5, 3, and 6 is 14. So notice we are summing or adding three numbers. So we need two addition symbols here. And what are the three things that we're adding? 5, 3, and 6. Now this sum is equals 14. And that is true. 5 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 14. There you go. Now here we have the difference of 9, 3, and 4 is 2. So we're taking the difference of three numbers. So we need two subtraction symbols, and the three things we are subtracting is 9, 3, and 4. Is translates into an equal sign. 2 translates to that symbol. 2. There it is. So that's the beginning of word problems. Be sure you practice this. It's very important, and we'll see you again soon.